We got Rat Trap, Road Trap, Battle Trap, so many traps. Fred Jones is like, ooh, a trap. Who's the sucks? Seemingly the muscle of the group, Battle Trap came to Earth along with his Terracon buddies, including Scourge in the film Transformers Rise of the Beast. Despite Battle Trap originally being a duocon, it seems the only thing he kept was the name. With the film rolling out, there were a bunch of new figures in line with the movie, and Studio Series made an entire wave dedicated to it. With its first wave, Battle Trap was released as one of the Voyager class figures. Battle Trap transforms into a heavy duty tow truck. I love the particular colors, with the creamy orange compared to the dark gray as a secondary deco. It reminds me of those evil toe line figures. I wonder if the Bernie's logo is a nod to the actor in the first film. I know the hands, knees, and feet show up, which I normally don't mind, but it's so compact that they nearly explode out of the vehicle. So much that things usually pop out even if you get everything right. Like the film, I'm sure there's an explosion happening. I guess the wheels roll fine, but the toe seems finicky to line up. Oh well, I like the square shape of the front with an exposed engine with red paint inside and silver details including the GMC logo. There's a scuffed up dirty paint app on the bottom of the bumper. Also, I didn't know that the back wheels spin separately from the outer ones. I guess the tabs stick out, but I like the mirrors, the orange trim around the gray, the caution lights on top, and if you want, you can add the mace to the toe to form a demolition dirt truck. Are we sure this isn't a former wrecker? The main issues aren't just with the transformation, it's the exposed parts and the fact you're cramping so much into this compressed form. Not the worst thing, but probably could have been made better than this. Robot mode. <laughs> I would be okay with the transformation if not for the backpack being held by a clear joint, but otherwise this chunky Terracon feels like the bulkhead of the group, just with the power of mac and cheese. The legs remind me of the War for Cybertron Springer figure, but are they way too long? The upper legs and waist have no pain, but there's enough going on. I love the intended details, like the shredded kneecaps, the toes, the hood slammed in the chest, the lights that tuck in, and this hefty collarbone. That's a fake bumper, but they managed to repeat the scuffed paint. I like the shoulder spikes, but Man, the toe hooks hanging off the arms are not working for me. What is, however, is the face. The sharp eyebrows, the contrast of colors, the mask's shape, and the eyes that look like he's blushing. Ooh, woo, senpai. <laughs> it's almost like articulation. Ball joint ahead, shoulders out and in, forward to back, rotation below, elbow bend, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward to back, rotation below, knee bend, foot tilt and moves. Posability is fine for a chunky boy, as long as you're careful the back doesn't untab. He looks like he could fight the big guys, if they'll give him a real fight, or walk out of the water and do the moto moto. Let's take a look at his accessory. He comes with the Mel Mace with chain wrapped around it. Like Legacy Bulkhead, it opens up and plugs into the hand. You can swap hands, or there's a tab to plug it on the back. You could also use the toes under the arms, but they're not worth it, it ruins it more than Halo 5 with Cortana. If you have Optimus Primal, you can use the chain for that. I was really anticipating this figure. A new character brought into the films? A chunky boy with a dark yet pleasing deco? What's not to love? However, he just leaves more to be desired, especially with how the alt form comes together, or lack of coming together. The robot itself has some cool, interesting design choices, and I love the head sculpt. I think it comes together better in this form, and with his mace, he's sure to bring the Lego house down just because he can break something. Ooh, Scourge Senpai notices your claw. All Spark TV, now that's just prime.